In this video, we are going to learn how you can add membership to Learn Dash course site. So we have a Learn Dash course site over here. We have logged into the admin dashboard of our site. First, let's take a look at our site. This is our website, okay? So if we click on the courses page, here we can see we have a few courses. Now we want to add membership plans for these courses. So when our users register as a member, they will have access to some of these courses, all right? So let's get back to our dashboard and to achieve this, we are going to use a plugin called Member Dash. Now, Member Dash is a paid plugin, and to use it, you need to purchase it. Member Dash has three plans the plan for one site, 10 sites, and unlimited sites. So, the first plan is $199 a year, the second plan is $399 a year, and the final one, the plan for unlimited sites, is $799 a year. If you guys are interested in getting Member Dash, you can check our video description for a link. Now, we already have Member Dash. We are simply going to install it on our WordPress site. So, we're going to go to Plugins, click on Add New Plugin. We're going to click on Upload Plugin, click on Choose File, and Upload the file from our computer. So, here is the plugin. So, now we're going to click on the Install Now button. The plugin has been installed. Now we're going to click on Activate Plugin. And here it will ask your permission if you want to share some helpful WordPress or Stellar WP product info. You can click on Allow and Continue, but we're going to click on Skip. Now the first section is where you can create your memberships. But before you do that, what you have to do is go to Settings, click on Licensing, and add in your email address and license key and click on Save License. So once you have the status that says Active, you can use Member Dash. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is create a new membership. So we're just simply going to click on this button. Now, here you can see there are four types of membership. The standard membership is selected by default. If we read here, it says make your content available to members and hidden to guests. So this is pretty straightforward. The dripped content membership allows you to set up membership content to be released or made available in intervals. And the guest membership makes your content available to only guests. So if you want to make any membership for the guests, you can select this one. And finally, in the default membership, the content is available to all logged in users that did not join any other memberships yet. You can choose the type of membership that you want. We are going to select the standard membership and we can name our membership over here. We're going to name our memberships bronze, silver, and gold. So the first membership we want is bronze. And the next we can see there are two options, allow users to register for this membership. Of course, we're going to have this enabled. And finally, you can make this membership paid. If you want to make this membership paid, you can simply enable this and click on save and continue. Now we have to customize the payment settings for this membership. So from this dropdown, we can select either recurring payments, one-time payment for permanent access, one-time payment for finite access, one payment for date range access. So if you want recurring payments for this payment type, you can select this. In that case, you can insert a setup fee, a payment amount, and you can also specify the payment frequency. So the recurring payment periods or intervals that the users must pay, you can mention this here. For the one-time payment for permanent access, if we select it, we can insert a setup fee, a payment amount, and since it's a one-time payment, that's all you need to do. But if you want a one-time payment for finite access, in this case, you can insert a setup fee, a payment amount, and how long you want to grant access for this payment. So you can also do that. And you can also select what happens to this membership after this period expires. So you can restrict them to visitor level again, all right? And for the one payment for date range access, if we select this, we can grant them access for a specific period of time. So if you want them to have access for one month, two month, one year, you can specify it over here. So for the bronze, we simply want the recurring payment. We want the setup fee to be $20 and the payment amount to be $50, all right? And the frequency we can select, let's say for three months, all right? And we can also choose the total payments, so zero for unlimited, or if you want them to pay for two times or three times, you can just mention it over here. We're going to set it to zero. And what happens after this period expires, they will be restricted to visitor level. Now you can add in registration redirect URL and login redirect URL. We're going to leave this empty for now. And you can also assign a role to the new user. You can assign them group leader, subscriber, contributor, author, editor, administrator. So we're not going to add any role right now. And if you want, you can also enable trial membership. Finally, you can see the payment gateways. So we have the manual payment gateway, PayPal standard gateway, and Stripe Connect. If we expand the manual payment gateway, you can add in payment info and the payment button label URL. 
And for PayPal, if we expand this, we can add in our PayPal merchant account ID, PayPal site, PayPal mood. So if we want a live site or a sandbox mood for testing, we can select it from here. We can add in our IPN listening URL, payment button, label or URL from here. That way you can connect PayPal. If you want to connect Stripe, you can expand this, click on connect Stripe and add in your vendor logo, payment button label. Also, you can choose your mood if you want live site or sandbox mood test site. So after you're done, you can simply click on finish. All right, so we have a membership now. This is the bronze, the status is active. This is a standard membership, zero members and the payment information is written over here. So $50 payment, pay each three months. So they have to pay this amount every three months and the sign up fee is $20. All right, so using this method, we can add in other members. So let's go ahead and create a new membership. Let's create standard. Now we're going to choose silver. All right. And we're going to make this a paid membership. Let's continue. And from the payment type, we're going to choose the one payment for finite access. The setup fee is $20 and the payment amount is 100. And we're going to grant access for three months. And that's it. So we're going to click on finish. Okay, so that's another type of membership. We're going to add another one. And this will be gold. And this will be a one-time payment for permanent access. We're going to add a setup fee of $50 and the payment amount will be 200. Great, now we can click on finish. So we have three membership types, the bronze, silver, and gold. Now we don't have any members, so let's go ahead and add a member manually. We're going to later on see how you can use a form or provide a form through which users can register on your site. So here we're going to add in a username. So we added some details over here. Next, we can also select an existing user from here if we want, but we are going to create a new user from scratch. We're going to call him test user one. Now let's click on create user. All right, the user has been created. We can also set the subscription if we want from here. So let's select bronze. And if we want, we can create invoice, but I don't want that right now. Let's click on save. We also have the start date and expire date. And here we can see the payment gateway. It says none since we added no payment gateway. But when you are setting up your membership, make sure to always add a payment gateway. So great, now we can click on save. It's done. Now, if we go to the members section, here we can see there's one user. Now we have a user and we have some memberships. So let's add protection rules to our courses. So if we go to Learn Dash and click on courses, we can see that we have some courses over here. Another thing that you can notice is that we have set the price type of these courses to closed. So if you're using a plugin like WooCommerce or Member Dash, you need to set your courses to closed. Let me quickly show you how you can do this. We can click on edit, click on settings, and from here you can choose closed. And we can also see there's a new tab over here, the membership. Here you can also select a membership, either bronze, silver, or gold. So you can select it from here, but we're not going to do this right now. From here, we're simply going to save our changes and go back to courses. Now we're going to go to member dash and click on production rules. And from here, we are going to go to custom post type items. From here in the dropdown, we're going to select all courses. So these are our courses. Now to add a protection rule, what we can simply do is click on modify access. And from here, we can choose which members will be able to access this course. So I'm going to select bronze and I'm going to select bronze for all of these. Now, if we want to add multiple membership features, we can see it says multiple memberships feature is not enabled. To fix this, what we can do is go to modules. And from here, we're simply going to scroll down and here is the multiple memberships feature. So we're going to simply enable it. And then we are going to go back to our protection rules, go to custom post type items, and we're going to click on all courses. And now we can add multiple memberships. So these are the bronze. We can also eliminate bronze from these three. And then we can add a new membership type. So let's go with silver. Now we can add gold over here. And now let's add more over here because the silver members and gold members should be able to access these bronze courses as well. Great. And we are going to add gold on here as well because the gold members will be able to access all the content. Now, we also have a course over here. We can make this available for guests if you want. So you can go to memberships and create a guest membership and make this course available for your guests. All right, now that's all we have to do to add membership protection rules to our courses. Now you can use other strategies to add protection rules to your 
courses. You can add protection rules to pages, posts, categories, comments, and more tag, menu items, URL restrictions, special pages. So you can go ahead and add protection rules for those pages as well, if you want. Again, if you look over here, we have the bronze and silver gold tabs over here. So you can click on these tabs and see what contents are available for that particular membership. You can also set different protection rules for this membership as well. So now let's go on ahead and visit our website. And if we click on courses, we can see all the courses over here. But what will happen if we sign out of our WordPress account? Let's see. Now you can see we have logged out of our account and this is the only course that is visible here because we didn't apply any protection rules for this course. So our guests can at least take one course. All right. Now, another thing I want to do is sign in as our test member and see how many courses we have available. So we're going to go to account. We're going to click on login. We are going to insert our credentials. Okay, so this is our test user. We are going to go to the courses page now. And now you can see we can view these two courses as a bronze user. All right, so we've logged in as the admin and now we want to register using the registration form. So in that case, if we click on the registration page over here, here you can see there are all these memberships, bronze, gold and silver. Now, if we want to sign up as the gold user, so let's click on sign up and it says as an admin user, you already have access to this membership. So we actually have to sign out of our account again. We have logged out, but now it's asking us to register. So let's create another user. Okay, we filled out the form and now let's click on the register button. Now, as soon as we register, it says welcome. So we didn't do much of designing for the registration success page but these were automatically added by member dash when you install it. I'm going to show you where all these are available later on, but let's actually go to the registration page now. And now as we have registered, we can sign up as any of these memberships. So we're going to sign up as the gold member. Now here's a problem. We actually added payment for this membership type and without paying, we cannot join this membership. So let's go on ahead and actually remove the payment for this membership type just for now. So we're back in our WordPress admin dashboard. We're going to go to the memberships and from the gold membership type, we're going to uh, click on edit and we are going to disable this. This won't be a paid membership, okay? This is just to show you how the registration form works, okay? All right, so we're back here. Now we're going to click on sign up for the registration. Now you can see the gold says it's free. Now we have registered. It says, thank you for registering for gold. Now, if we go to the courses page, we can see all our courses as a gold member. Great. And if you guys want to know where are the pages, so if we click on settings, here we can see there are three pages. Please select pages you want to appear in your navigation. The membership list, registration and account. We already saw these on our website. Now, if we go to the appearance menu, so let's go over here, appearance menus, we can see which are the membership pages. So this account page, thank you page, registration page, these were added by the member dash plugin. You can include these or exclude these from your menu from here. All right. And to actually customize these pages, you can go to pages. And from here, you can already see that these pages that were added by the member dash plugin has a tag over here or a label over here that says membership page, membership page. So you can simply click on edit in order to edit these pages yourself. So the account page, it's loading. These are the blocks over here. So if you log out, you will see a different settings over here, but we are not going to go through the editing page in this tutorial. So that is how you can add memberships to your LearnDash course site. Now, if you guys want to learn more about MemberDash, because there are a lot more things to discuss, such as the billing, coupons, modules, reportings, and many settings, we already have a MemberDash overview tutorial. We will put the link of that tutorial in the video description so you can learn more about MemberDash. And if you guys want to learn how to create courses or how to use the LearnDash plugin, we have many tutorials on LearnDash. We'll put the links of some of those tutorials in the video description so you guys can learn more. So that's the end of this video. We hope it was helpful for you guys guys. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.